Frank, what was it like emotionally, just in the context of AD going down and, and the life being lifted out of the building a little bit, and then LeBron kind of leading the charge back in the fourth? Yeah, you know, it's it's very deflating to see AD go down uh, the way he did, and you know, our guys tried to try to r rally the necessary energy to start start the second half. But there's you know there's an energy that you have to over overcome, and there's um, you know there's what, how are we going to adjust tactically, uh, coverage wise? You know our, our plan has been you know with AD in uh, a big minutes role with us and and playing around him a lot. So um, you have to make adjustments and. Um, you know, we came out of the, the second half a little bit flat, you know, but with, for but for all those reasons. But um, you know, credit our guys for uh, really hanging in there, you know, and uh, continuing to fight um, even when we we seemed to be deflated a little bit to start the half. Um, you know, I thought Russell uh, was really good in the timeouts. You know, talking to the guys and just saying, "Come on, let's go, let's keep fighting, keep fighting," and uh, and keeping everybody engaged. And then, you know, what what we saw LeBron do is just uh, just remarkable. You know, what he continues to do um, at this point in his career to take over a game in the fourth quarter the way he did, uh, with just energy and will and determination, was was really something special. On AD, we saw the report that x-rays were negative. Frank, do you have anything else at this point and kind of what his spirits are like? MRI tomorrow, and um, you know we'll, we'll know more at that point. Uh, but I got nothing more on that. Frank, you talked pregame about you know, what LeBron has been like over these last few days and his, his level of engagement. But it, you, I mean, you mentioned it, that fourth quarter when he came in, you guys were down eight when he checked back in. And it just seemed like everything changed when he got back on the floor. He came in with an intensity. What did you see, kind of behind that, um, behind that stretch for him? Yeah, I mean, he 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 frequently frequently leads with his voice. Um, tonight was about his action, you know, just the look in his eyes and and the way he was playing, the way he was approaching, the, you know, the the defensive end, and you know, again, the engagement that we continue to talk about. Just when he's super locked in, the rest of the group follows, you know, and uh, man, he was something else. Uh, during that stretch, uh, in, in all the ways we just discussed, and then you know, to be able to be that locked in and 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 deliver, you know, with the shot making and the playmaking, it's just remarkable. And um, you know, this is the number one offense in the league, and uh, you know, second second game in a row we held them around 100 points, uh, largely because of that engagement that we're talking about with Bron. Like everybody got locked in, and you know, he just made big plays offensively. Hey. So uh, in the moment, this has to be an uh, uplifting thing, but when your brain goes back to Anthony, um, how are you going to process uh, the period, however long it may be, without? Win games till we get them back. That's simple. Can't feel sorry for ourselves. Um, you know, we know, uh, we don't know obviously how long it will be, but, um, you know, we got to win as many games as we can uh, down the stretch, and you know, believe in the group that we have, and you know, hopefully we're we're able to, uh, you know, to get whole uh, as quickly as possible. And you know, we like we've been saying all along, like we have a strong belief in this group. You know, if we're able to to, to stay healthy and stay whole, so you know, we just got to win as many games as we can during that stretch. Did you get a chance to see me either at halftime or before you left the arena afterwards? I did. Yeah, halftime. And just anything on how he was doing. Yeah, just just shaking his head about, you know, really everything. You know, obviously, I'm sure what it felt like, um, but just being frustrated about, you know, looking like he, he's going to miss some time again. To LeBron, Westbrook doing a good job getting to the to the rim himself. Uh, good leadership there in the fourth. Yeah, definitely good leadership. And I saw, you know, a lot, even from Dwight Howard coming in for those yep. minutes. He didn't play much in the yeah. second half, but he gave a lot. I think he turned the game around. Because they were down about you know 14 points yeah. he come in the game. He got the game under control a little bit. Meta, he's going to be needed. Uh, we don't know for how long. Right. We don't know the extent of AD's injury. Um, X-rays were negative, but the MRI will be tomorrow. But Frank Vogel had to look down that bench and use 11 guys. And, and that's just kind of the, like I said, it symbolizes the, the way this team, I mean, it, this is real adversity. Uh, just the gut punches that they've been taking, the losses, and then playing well against Golden State and coming up short. And now you're five games under 500 and the All-Star break is looming and everyone's talking about that you have the second toughest schedule in the NBA. So for them to kind of find a way through tough times to, to win this game says a lot about this team. Yeah, I mean, it does. It was a tough game against one of the better teams in the league and they pulled it out. It was good. Yeah, when you play really good basketball the way you're 
you want to play in the way you're supposed to play, you hate to lose. But if you do lose, you know, you can walk away and say, hey, we left it all out there on the court, which they did against Golden State, which they were able to bring that same energy to Utah, even with AD going down, you know, they felt good about the Golden State game. They felt good about how they were able to start this game and sustain it and then put it out at the end. Two good games, one loss, one win, but two good feeling games uh, against two good teams. So get a little break. Hope they don't lose that momentum or hope they don't lose that sense of urgency that they, they're going to need when they come back. I think the break's going to do good, for, be well for them. Get a little rest, re-energize, refocus, come back and go to work. And then there is the reality of where they are, and we've talked a lot about this as well. Four games under 500 heading into the break, but like Sir. you said, James, got to play good basketball. That's the important thing. You can't look at the standings. You probably know where you are. Mm -hmm. LeBron has talked about the reality. But AD no longer uh, going to be a part of that, at least for a little time, right? I mean, that's what it looked like with that ankle. They're 10 and 11 without him. Uh, Meta, he had 17 points. He had 7 and 9. He looked good. He was attacking Gobert. You know, he likes that matchup. He had 15 in the first quarter. Gobert didn't score until late in that half with, with AD already out. So it was kind of a feel good game for AD. And then he goes down. Uh, tough to rally around that, but, but they did it. Yeah, they did. I'm sure they would have. I'm sure they felt a little bit like, oh, not this again. Yeah. You know, we're trying to win a title. The pressure's on everybody. It's not just on, you know, Westbrook or LeBron. E even the rookies, they want to win too. And to see this happen, they're probably like, you know, the, we're not playing well. Fans is down on us. Media's down on us. And what can I do? But instead of making an excuse, they pulled out the win. Yeah. If you follow social media, the second that happens, it's, all right, it's over. It's just not our year. Right. But you have to yeah. take a breath. Yeah. <laughs> Regroup. I mean, and just move we're, on. We've been through it so much. Yet. The it's, last couple of years, I mean, LeBron was out, AD was out. We've had so many mm -hmm. injuries that I think at this point, you just have to play. I do think Dwight Howard can fill that spot. I mean, he's, he's, he's a great player. He's a good defensive player. He mucks things up. He's not going to give you the AD play, but he'll give you enough so that the other four players yeah. around him can flourish. I thought the bench tonight, 22 points. They got to keep that going. And, and listen, uh, you know, AD's missed 21 games um, yeah. and, and now Tough. going to be more. But LeBron also is going to fill that role at the five, as we saw the last time AD was hurt. So it's, it's that next man up mentality. I think the great thing is that they did respond. All right, let's get you to the highlights. We'll take you out to Crypto.